Maybe you're just rolling out of bed right now after a night out, or maybe you laid down and your mind just wouldn't stop working. As we take an in depth look, the CDC says you should be getting between seven and eight hours of sleep. Sleep deprivation is becoming such a common problem that it's being declared a public health epidemic, putting us at greater risk for chronic diseases, obesity, and cancer. So, what can you do to get a better night's sleep? Here with some tips is Dr. Stanley Wang, who is the director of Sleep Disorder. Disorders Center at the Heart Hospital of Austin. Good morning to you. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for coming in. So the big question, did you get seven to eight hours of sleep last night? Uh, to be honest, I didn't. I try to practice what I preach, but it's so hard to do that today. Yeah. It is for sure. And you um, also specialize in cardiology and the two go hand in hand, sleep and your heart health. Explain that. Well, sleep is crucial for heart health. It's the time when your blood pressure is the lowest, your heart gets to take a break when you get a good night's sleep. And it turns out certain sleep disorders like sleep apnea can triple your chances of having a heart attack, which is why places like Heart Hospital of Austin now have unique sleep disorder center staffed by doctors who are cross-training cardiology and sleep to take care of this big problem. Yeah, let's talk about some of the things that you hear or, or maybe things that you have tried yourself at home to get a better night's rest. Do, do these things work as far as, you know, taking a hot shower or limiting your screen time, maybe not being on your smartphone right before bed? What, what are some things that could help? Uh, an easy way to think of it is to group it into environmental and behavioral things. So the sleep environment has to be good. It has to be dark. You want to turn off your TVs, computers, smartphones before you go to bed. Uh, you want the, not, the room to be cool. It turns out that the body gets sleepy when it cools off. So sometimes taking a real hot shower or bath before you go to bed and then getting into a cool bed and taking advantage of that cooling off sleepiness can help people get to sleep. And then behaviors are really important too. So trying to avoid caffeine before going to bed. Uh, regular exercise helps, but you don't want to do that a couple hours before going to bed. Getting up at the same time every day and taking regular naps, mm -hmm. all very helpful. Does age matter when it comes to the seven to eight hours? Because you hear different studies out there. I was listening uh, to the radio the other day and it talked about a school in some other state actually pushing back the start time for students just so they could be in bed longer. Right. Uh, that actually helps a lot. If you, if you delay the start of school time, kids tend to get more sleep and they actually need more sleep. They perform better in school. As we kind of get older, medical conditions arise that get, get in the way of sleep, like problems with uh, getting up to use the bathroom at night and, and heart problems. And trying to make sure those are treated as best as possible can really help you uh, get a better night's sleep and, and be good for your heart health overall. Mm -hmm. At what point should you see a doctor? I think you should see a doctor if you have problems getting to sleep on a regular basis. If it's just one night, uh, you can usually get over that. But a lot of times people resort to taking sleeping pills, which really should be kind of a drug of, of last resort. You always want to treat the underlying problem and not just cover it up with a bandage like a sleeping pill. Good advice, Dr. Wing. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Yeah, thank you.